After the events of Distant Lands, we got introduced to the spin-off Fiona and Cake. Now of season 1 being over, and season 2 on its way, I thought I would share some of my thoughts on what we can expect from season 2. Marshall Lee and Gary are together, as well as Lil Destiny and Jay Mearns are in the world with Fiona and Cake. Or Simon is living off his life, finally, with closure with Betty. In all things, the story should be wrapped up, but things are bound to go south in Adventure Time. So let's talk about the possibilities. Theory 1, The Lich. As shown, the Lich is in every possible world, the cause for countless deaths. This is shown in Fiona and Cake, while the Lich met Gold Betty, stating, bringing the end all of all life. life. And, and in, in my, my universe, universe, I have achieved I it. Achieved. So hearing this would mean that only the connected universes are a part of the web would have the Lich been canon. The fact that all universes are a part of the universe web, or hints of the Lich, the Steamboat version, the Baby version, the Farm version, of how he disguised himself as Jake to fort Ice Finn. I wondered about the possibilities that now the world of Fiona and Cake is now the whole world, not just that little town, since now it's part of the real world. Could possibly mean the Mushroom War could happen again, meaning Fiona and Cake would have to either stop it by jumping through universes to stop the Lich from creating the end of all life. But that's just theory one. Theory two. Farm Finn is still alive and well. Finn, after fighting the Scarab, got stabbed in the head. A person would usually die from that. But if we think back, his hat is made to be protected by sharp objects. But of course, the Scarab is not a vampire. But it would still give him a chance of surviving his encounter. Also, in the end, we get shown Jay and Destiny meeting Fiona again. He seems happy. I don't think he would be happy in, or in fighting shape if his dad has died. So, seeing him in Season 2 will be quite likely. Theory 3. Margaret and Joshua will be in Season 2. Adopting baby Finn, but the possible, the reverse versions of themselves. And being able to see the mother and father for Fiona too. Because the history of Fiona would have still been there. Or just hinting to the background of a past would be fun to see if there is any changes to them. Moving to Finn in this world, someone's gonna look after him. And I think the human versions of Joshua and Margaret would be a nice touch. Or something along those lines I would like to even just hear about in Season 2. And now we move on to the final one. The final theory that I believe is most likely to happen. More lore on Gibbon. For those who do not remember... Jake's daughter, Charlie, had a kid called Gibbon, and was originally shown in Daddy Daughter Card Wars. While seen into the future, while Gibbon seems to have either taken over PB after her death, the new dictator of Ooh falls to him with the power of ice, using one of the Ice King's gems to make him learn about the powers of ice and snow. And seeing more of Shermie and Beth would be amazing. I love these characters and how Beth was used to help Simon see how Betty felt during their time together and I thought it was amazing how they used the characters Casper and Nova to portray what Betty felt. Nova was basically obsessed with Casper. Wait, I thought... I thought they were in love. They were, but it wasn't exactly on equal footing. I guess that's not Casper's fault, per se. No. But he could have been more thoughtful. He could have noticed that she was sacrificing over and over. He could have. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic how they used that. But back to business. Learning how Gibbon rose to power. And who has control over the Candy Guardians now. Knowing what happened to his new world, and how Shermie and Beth met, learn more about the new generation of Finn and Jake. I want more info 
of Shuri and Beth. I mean, there's tons of theories running through my head, but most likely these won't come true. But I do truly hope the last one does. I see that one more than any of them come true. I guess we will have to wait until season 2. Probably showing next year or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you all in my next video.